All right, guys. This is a controversial pick right here, but hear me out on this. In my humble opinion, FanDuel is the worst site out there. Now, I know, I know a lot of you guys use FanDuel and it's not your fault. FanDuel has a great marketing team. Everywhere you look, you see a FanDuel site or a FanDuel billboard or whatever you want to call it. You see it all the time, but guys, they're not the best site. Now, I'll give them credit. The navigation is very easy. It's very simple to use. I mean, look, left hand, left hand side, sports A to Z. It has all the sports on here you want, okay? So I wanted college basketball. Let me click on college basketball. It's right here. But let's talk about live betting. Everything's locked right now. They're, it's always locked. Live betting is a nightmare to do. Look at this, locked, locked, locked. Well, these aren't live, they're not live, so we're good with everything else, but not, not a fan of that right there, guys. Not a fan at all. The odds are usually not in your favor. For instance, we're talking about futures. Gonzaga to win championship, plus 250. All right, 25 to one odds. Okay, I'm on FanDuel. I'm gonna put down a lot of money because I'm a casual better and Gonzaga's the best team in college basketball. They're gonna win the championship. Why not throw down? All right, well, if you go to BetMGM or other sites, what's that say right there? Oh, 30 to one, plus 300. You get more bang for your buck at the other sites. FanDuel's ripping you off, man. Not a fan of that. Also, they have very slow payouts. I'm talking two to three days, all right? I want my money right now. You're not getting that at FanDuel, not at all. Super Bowl, the biggest event of the year, it was a mess to get in. Their servers were down the whole entire day. So you couldn't even put bets in. You couldn't do prop bets. You couldn't live bet. It was horrible. Now, the one thing I'll give FanDuel credit for, they know they mess up. They will give you, they'll throw you a bone here and there. They'll throw you here. Here's a $100 free bet, okay? So that's the one cool thing about FanDuel. But for me, man, FanDuel is not it. And the sign-up bonuses. Let's, let's look at the promotions they have going right now. I think they're really cheap with these promotion bonuses, to be honest with you guys. All right, uh, let's see. Game of the week. Bet $50. And guess what, boys and girls? We get a $5 bonus. $5? Are you kidding me? $5 a place on a game? No, 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 no. Last weekend, I put like $700 in because you know what? They wanted me back because I haven't been with FanDuel in a long time. They said, hey, Ron, we'll give you a 25% bonus. All right, cool. $700, I'll get what? $250 or $200? I'm not good at math, but whatever. You know what the bonus was, guys? The bonus was $100. If you read the fine print, it said max bonus up to $100. FanDuel's the worst. Don't go with them. Yes, they have an easy layout. When the site crashes, they will give you money back but it's not worth the headache. FanDuel, you guys get one star, and I'm being generous giving you one star.